I got phone calls from people. Uh, uh, some guys was asking me about these switches on here uh, to start this thing. How do you start it? Well, this is a master switch here. I have to turn that on. Then I would turn on the magnetos. There's two of them. So you turn this switch on and that switch on. Then the mags are on and then down here is the choke. Now two cycle engine you have to have this throttle back. You have to have it all the way at idle. This, this throttle level moves a long way. It's like an airliner throttle here. So make sure that's all the way back before you start it. They will not start if that throttle is not back because the it effectively disables the choke. You don't have enough vacuum to pull the fuel through the cold starting circuit. So I pull this lever which is what pulls the plungers up on the choke. That opens the cold start circuit and enriches the mixture. And then this little red button here, that's the one that's going to hit the starter motor. So that can be done with one hand. That's the idea of it. And also I can kind of adjust my throttle if I'm doing a run up and hold the brakes at the same time and, and move the throttle while I'm holding it back at the end of the runway. Especially if you're on a paved runway, you need brakes to kind of help hold you. And you can run it up to four or 5,000 RPM, something like that. And uh, these things here are the EGT gauges that's judging exhaust temperature. They're just for mixture. Uh, they're telling you whether the mixture is rich or lean. And probably the biggest thing that kills two cycles are these little gauges here. Because people go by those things like the Bible and they're not, they're not really a very expensive gauge and they're kind of primitive. I wouldn't necessarily make an adjustment based on those gauges until I examine the spark plugs and see what it's really doing. This thing right here is a hour meter and uh, I guess I've already showed you the brake lever. I, I can just pull one lever if I want to turn real tight. They call that differential braking. Or I grab a hold of this knurled part here if I want to put them both on. So. For stopping, I do this. For turning tight, I can do that. That helps you park the airplane. Uh, these things here are just fuses. Uh, the fuses are uh, on different parts of the electrical system just to protect it. Uh, I can turn all, on and off the strobe. Uh, this fuel pump is to transfer fuel. It has nothing to do with running the engine. This is for heat. When I turn that on, it turns on the cabin heat, which is uh, Kind of hard to see here. It's it's underneath this bag. Well, maybe if I put the camera down, I won't be able to see what I'm getting here. Maybe, but right there is a computer muffin fan blowing forwards, and there's another one that blows to the rear seat, and in between is this heater core from a from a car, and this is a heater line right here. That's hot water going through there from the engine. And it just recirculates the inside air over and over, warming it through the heater core. And it works pretty good down to, oh, 30 degrees or so, I'd say it's pretty good. So I check out the, in the instruments pretty closely on climb out, make sure everything's running right. I can't see the engine if there was a coolant leak or something like that. I don't know if I got a picture of that or not. There we go. If there was a coolant leak or something like that or a hose blowout, I'm not going to see it because the engine's behind me.
So therefore I don't have any coolant in the, or I mean any pressure in the coolant system. There's no pressure on the coolant, no pressure cap. And so water isn't just a likely to build up pressure and then blow a hose or something like that. That's not going to happen. So when I pull it out, I check the coolant level and that's it. So for this morning's flight, I'm going to set this at 1,100 feet. And uh, I guess I'm about ready to go this morning. Like I say, my GPS is just this little thing right here. And the battery is located right there under my leg.